In the last lecture, we created the React application for our real-time chat app. Now, in this lecture, we are going to create the required pages for our chat application and we are also going to implement routing for them. So, for that, first of all, let's go to VS Code. Now, what we are going to do is inside this source folder, we are going to create a new folder and we are going to call it as pages. Inside this pages folder, we are going to create three more folders. So the first folder is going to be home. Then the second folder is going to be login. And the third folder is going to be sign up. Now in all these three folders, we are going to create an index.js file. So in all three folders, we need an index.js file. So we have added it in home page. Let's add it in login page. And let's also add it in sign up page. Now inside each of these index.js file, we are going to create a component and a component is nothing but a function in react. For example, let's call this component as sign up. And this function should return some JSX from here. Let's say this is sign up page. And then let's return this component. So for that, let's say return default. So basically we want to return this component as default. Sign up. Sorry, this should be export. Basically we want to export the component from here. Okay, so we are exporting this sign up component which we have created here. Let's save this file. Let me go ahead and let me copy this code and let's write it in index.js of login as well. And here let's say this is login page. And from here, first of all, we are going to call this component as login. So the function name should be login and that login component we want to export from here. Let's save this file. And let's do the same thing in index.js of home. So first of all, we are going to call this component as home. Here we will say this is home page. And we are going to return that home component from here. So we are going to have these three pages in our React application. We are going to have a login page, a sign up page and a home page. So for that, we have created three components. We have created this home component for home page. We have created this login component for login page. And we have created this sign up component for sign up page. So this is done. Now we are going to implement routing in our React application. And to implement routing in our React application, we are going to install another package. So here our React application is running in this terminal. So I'm not going to touch this terminal. I'll open another terminal here. And first of all, from here, we are going to move to the react project folder. So let's go back to the folder. This is our react project folder. Let me copy this path and let's specify it here and let's move into that folder. And now from here, we are going to install react router DOM package and we are going to install it from NPM. So let's say NPM install react router DOM. All right, so the package has been installed and we are going to use this react router DOM package for implementing routing in our react application. Let's go to VS code and let's go to app.js. In there, we are going to remove this statement. I'm also going to remove this statement where we are importing app.css. We don't need it here. And the first thing which we are going to do is we are going to import browser router from react router dom we are also going to import routes from react router dom and we are also going to import route so these three packages we are going to import here and then let's import home component login component and sign up component so we are going to import home component from let's specify the path where we have created the home component so it is in pages folder and in there we have the home folder and inside that we have index.js file so since the file name is index.js we don't need to include that here but if you have named your file as let's say home.js in that case you will also have to specify the file name here 
but since in the home folder we have index.js file which is containing our home component we don't need to specify the file name same thing we are going to do for login and sign up so here i am going to call the variable here as login and we want to import login component from login page and here i am going to call it as sign up and we are going to import sign up component from sign up folder okay so these are the imports we need in order to implement routing because we are going to implement routing for home page login page and sign up page and to implement routing we need browser router we need routes and we need route from react router dom all right now inside this let's go ahead and let's create a div and inside that we are going to implement the routing so for that first of all we are going to use browser router inside that browser router we are going to use this routes component and inside that routes component we are going to use the route component okay and there let's first specify the path so if the path is root url that means if the user types localhost colon 3000 like currently we have typed in that case we want to render home page so for that we will specify the element and in order to specify the element we are going to use a set of curly braces because here we want to use a component name and in there we are going to specify home component and let's also close this all right so whenever the user types root url in the address bar we are going to render the home component in the browser in the same way let's add two more route and if the user types root url slash login then we want to render the login component in the browser and if the user type root url slash sign up then we want to render sign up component okay let's save the changes and actually we don't need these double quotes here okay let's save the changes now so now you can see this home component is used here this login component is used here and this sign up component is used here so here when the user types root url then the home component will be rendered if the user types root url slash login the login component should be rendered and if the user types root url slash sign up the sign up component should be rendered and in this way we have implemented the routing for our react application now let's go ahead and let's save the changes let's go to terminal and let's see if there is any error so as you can see there is no error and our application is running as expected without any errors let's go to the browser and if i type home page here as you can see it says this is home page if i say root url slash login now it says this is login page and if i say root url slash sign up it says this is sign up page so in this way we have implemented routing for our react application and in here we have three pages for our application login page sign up page and home page now before we start implementing the login page and sign up page and also the home page of our real time chat app before that let's first understand what is jsx because in react this html which we are writing here this is not html this is called as jsx so let's briefly understand what is jsx and why we are using jsx here what is the advantage of using jsx in react this is all from this lecture thank you for listening and have a great day